this video, I'll be taking a look at the MakerHeart Loop Mixer. I bought this product for a particular reason. I wanted to mix audio from multiple computers and a radio into my desktop speakers. After searching on and off for a couple of months, I finally came across a loop mixer. Here are the features that interested me. There are five 3.5 millimeter stereo inputs. This was a must have feature for me. Most mixers I came across were quarter inch mono inputs, so you'd need two inputs for each device you want to connect to it. That's not the case with the loop mixer. Secondly, there are three 3.5 millimeter stereo outputs. One of these outputs is dedicated for headphones and features an independent volume control. This allows me to send audio to my speakers and to my headphones at the same time at different volume levels. It's really a great feature. Next, there are per input balance and gain controls. This is a pretty standard feature for mixers. Finally, we have per channel levels. There's a control for each input and a volume control for the pair of outputs on the back of the device and another for the headphones. The loop mixer can also do some cool things when you connect together more than one. This is not a feature I've tried, as it wasn't something I needed to be able to do. Basically, if you have two devices, the first one can act as an input level controller, and then the second one acts as a per-channel output controller. So say you wanted to record yourself playing guitar and singing along with a piece of music, but you didn't want the music you were listening to to be part of the recording. You could connect your microphone guitar and the music source to the first loop mixer and put on your headphones. On the second loop mixer, you would lower the volume on the music source and then send the mixer output to a computer to record, thus recording just your guitar and vocals and not the song you were playing with. Taking a look at the front of the device, for each input channel, we can control the level, the gain, and the balance. On the right side of the device are the volume controls. This one is for the headphones, and this one are for the two outputs on the back. Below that, you can see the headphone jack. Here's a look at the back of the device. Starting from the left, you have the power in, followed by the power button, output one, output two, the loop in and out for connecting multiple loop mixers together, followed by the five input channels. I've had the loop mixer for a few months now and I really like the device. It is exactly what I needed it to do. If you are like me and have a nice pair of speakers that you want to use with a mix of computers and or other devices, I strongly encourage you to give the loop mixer a look. In the description below, I've placed an Amazon Affiliates link to the product. If you make a purchase that way, I'll get a small kickback. And if you do, thanks. Well, that's it for this review. If you found the video helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, and then subscribe for more.